You're watching First News at 4 on KBTX. Our pets are like our family members, and Six Kittens Rescue has an opportunity coming up this weekend to capture professional portraits of your pet while funding a great cause. Today, I'm here with Mallory and Jai to tell us a little bit more about this. Thank you guys so much for coming on the show today. Thank you for having us. Mallory, can you tell us more about what's going on this Sunday? So we have partnered with a local photographer to have professional portraits taken of your pet. It's $50 for a short uh, time frame for her to take photos. You get anywhere from two to five edited images back. She's hoping to get them back within a week time frame. So it's a great way to get nice professional photos of your pet and also give back to the community. Jai, why is this something that we wanted to have right here in our community? So I think that it's a really good opportunity for us to also be able to showcase other local businesses that are here in town. And this is the second year that we have done the pet portraits. Um, and so we just, I don't know, we like to find different interesting ways to get people excited, to get people involved, um, and to help a kitten out. Well, help wonderful kittens like these little ones right here. Mallory, tell us how can people take part in this event? So you can go to our Facebook page or our Instagram, our website. There is a link to register. There are several time slots available. You just register there, give us your pet's information. Your pet does have to be friendly and current on rabies um, in order to be able to be present, but it's pretty much as simple as that. You sign up and show up. Jai, we mentioned this is all to help out what you guys do right here in our community. Tell us more about Six Kittens. Sure, um, so we started in October of 2018. Um, we've had about a thousand kittens come through the program so far. Uh, we do TNR whenever we're able to do so. Um, there's a really bad feral cat population here in the Brazos Valley. And so we're just trying to do our part to help with that. All of our kittens, they do come fully vaccinated, spayed, neutered, microchip. We keep them per, or current on prevention as well as feed them a high quality diet so that we can give them all the tools that they need in order to grow up and be healthy, happy kitties. Mallory, y'all have been so busy with kitten season. We even saw a post recently that you guys had some kittens that you found in a trash can. Can you tell us more about that? So we had someone, our intake has been closed for several weeks, unfortunately, just due to limited resources, whether it be funding, foster space. And we had someone reach out that they had found kittens that were in a trash can with soapy water behind a Walmart and College Station and their eyes were crusted shut. They were having trouble breathing and while we didn't really have the space or resources, we couldn't in good faith say no. So we took those kittens in yesterday. Yesterday we had our Andy's profit share. So they're all named after Andy's ice cream things. Um, and thankfully they did really well overnight. They all have great appetites. They've been in, we call it a, a kitten microwave, but it's an incubator um, that has added humidity to help clear out their sinuses. They're having um, medication applied to their eyes and they're, they all latched and are enjoying the formula now. Wonderful. You guys can help out by coming out on Sunday, being a part of this event, and offering support to Six Kittens Rescue. But thank you guys so much for coming on the show today. Thank you for having, thank us. You for having us. As we head to break, let's take a live eye look outside. We'll be right back with your treat of the day.